Hello, my name is Chris Delara. I'm illustrator and painter. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you my process using Painter Essential 7 to create this eye. My approach in this drawing and this sketch will be very, very observational, very simple. It's just like a warm up. I'm using the principles of drawing, form principles, and a lot of observational time to understand what I can see. I have a photo reference, and from this photo I will be creating my own study, just looking and trying to capture what I understand. I will be using only one brush, Concept Art Jitter, from the Chalk, Pastel and Crayon Bundle. When I'm sketching something like this, I always think like a sculpture. I like to think from the big to the small, to rough to the detail. I like to work with simple shapes, simple elements, like geometric shapes. So from a line, I can create surfaces, I can create a, a volume using lights and shadows, like I did with this circle, and then becoming uh, a ball or a sphere on the left bottom. You can see that I'm doing in blue lines uh, simplifications of the shape of the eye. I want to see how simple it can be. Remember, thinking about sculpture, we can relate to drawing and painting much easier and we can bring life to, to these elements. Okay, now it's time to put all that together. From simple circle, I will be creating my eyeball. Thinking about the shape of the sphere and putting some lights and shadows. On top of this uh, eyeball, I'll be creating the eyelids. Remember, basic shapes first. The eyelids are like cylinders that I will be creating and adding on top of this element. In this case, our eyeball. Lights and shadows are very important to make this the impression of this 3G dimension. And that's what I'm doing. I'm looking to my reference and trying to uh, duplicate this, the same effects on my drawing. Remember that I'm using only one brush all the time and the, 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 the best way to do this is using this, uh, the sensibility of my pen and with that I can uh, use, get much more from this brush. And that is the photo reference that I used to create this eye. I know, it's different, they are different, but I, I really like to use reference only to give me paths and directions about what to do. But my drawing is always different from the reference, so I only get some guidance from the reference, from pictures itself, but I only create my own results. For example, I like to do, I like to change direction of the lights, I like to experiment new kind of effects and shapes. So this picture is just the beginning of the process. But I, I wanted to share with you anyways, because I think it's really um, interesting to see from where uh, we can get the, ref the, the basic idea about what to do or the guidance. At this point, I'm adding some lights and shadows here and there just to give this impression of a moisty effect at the eyeball and same time giving more life. It's a beautiful effect. I always let these little details to the end because I think it's, it's impressive how to see this get, getting life. So that's it. That's my approach with no drawing and uh, just big areas, lights and shadows and shapes together, creating this uh, element, this study. I hope you enjoy it. So, see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.